the minutes are there. The bad blood between the executive director of the Uganda National Bureau of Standards and members of the National Standards Council, who oversee his work, took a new twist when he claimed to have given them a hundred million shillings bribe to keep his job. Ebiru and members of the National Standards Council were appearing before MPs on Committee of Parliament on commissions and statutory authorities to answer various queries in the 2021-22 Auditor General's report. Are you confirming to this committee that you bribed board members with 100 million shillings? I was asked through the, by the chair and I must uh, do the needful to cool down what is going on. And you gave them 100 million shillings? Yes, sir. Where did you get the 100 million shillings from? I borrowed the money. So this was personal money? Yes, sir. And you handed it over to who? Uh, through a uh, representative of the chairman, one of the board members here, Mr. Mr. Omar. He came to my office and picked it from my office. Was it cash? It was in what? Cash. Cash. In a bag? In what exactly? In a bag. <laughs> None of the council members admitted receiving the bribe. The last time I checked the chairperson bribing the public officials, it was an offence. So, the ED is alleging to have bribed the board 100 million, which he could have used somewhere else. And this is a verifiable matter, and I invite this committee to take special interest in it. I never got any money. Out of this 100 million, talking about. Are you disappointed that you never got any? <laughs> I'm disappointed that the information is coming now. Oh, it should have come earlier. It should have come earlier. I would have got maybe a share. Biru reportedly offered the bribe after learning that his stay at the helm of the standards body was in balance. MPs heard that Biru's fate was in the hands of Musekura, the chairman of the board. The letter was a ransom that you know you are in trouble. I was even shown a letter from the minister to him to dismiss me eh, arising from that letter from IGG. So I was told, you see this, read it, put it back. And that happened at a, a restaurant called Panamera in, uh, in opposite Kampala Parents. It's opposite Kampala Aburu. Parents. Because the chairman residence is in Aburu, so he called me there. Come urgently. This is the issue. To, uh, to cool this, do the needful. It's just that I'm not a spy. I didn't have a record of that. Ebiru had reportedly been found unfit for the top job at the Bureau. Crime like this is a rare one. But that doesn't ex ex exonerate you. And uh, you just, just like the chair said, you just confirmed, even when you are competent, you just confirmed that you are not competent. Before being appointed to head the standards body, Ebiru had served for eight years as the deputy executive director in charge of management and financial services. MPs ordered Ebiru and all board members to record statements with parliament police. On Tuesday, Ebiru accused Musekura of being a spy. First of all, to confirm that this chairman is a spy, he has been spying from day one, and you can imagine that all this information he has, uh, he has handed you have no information about it. I've just come to also see it here. That's why, Chair, I thank you for giving me this. Order, this ED, why do we all like money? His, his love for money is legendary. And he leaves, he leaves a trail. He leaves a trail of paperwork, Mr. Chairperson. The interface continues tomorrow. Jackson Onyango, NTV at Parliament. IDD has had their... You know, they are saying on that particular letter that they